Now you make your launch decision in step 11. Just when you think this thing is perfect with all its bells and whistles and safety nets and whatnot, and then you release it upon your users, you just release it at 100% and Please don't launch it all at once. <laughs> Little gradual releases is a good idea. Do a gradual ramp up. Serve 1% of your traffic first. Are we okay? Because if there's a big bug in there, you don't want to discover that with all of your traffic served. And consider doing an experiment. So remember this monster of training serving skew. You need to check that it works well in the world where it's going. You'll only know if it does that if you test it in that world. See what its impact is on that world. And what an experiment lets you do is compare the impact of this thing versus another alternative. So maybe you have a next best way to solve this problem. Now you can race the two and see if yours is better. And if it's better, how much better is it? Because it's always nice to add to your performance reviews. And we also save this many dollars per whatever period. And such stuff. Okay. So you'll do your live traffic experiment with another statistical hypothesis test. A very rigorous test. And even more important than your previous one. Your previous testing phase was about, am I going to spend the money to productionize, yes or no? Now that you've done that whole productionization symphony, this one is really the one, the test. Is this okay to subject my users to at 100% or not? Don't skip this. Now, an experiment, contrary to popular belief, is not just, let's just see what happens. If you want to describe that, you can use words like trial, or pilot, investigation, analysis, launch. All those things are let's just see what happens. An experiment is something special. It has these three components. And let's see whether our situation also has these three components. First, a hypothesis. Yep, that's the question of is performance good enough to launch? Next, different treatments. So we can't just passively observe data we must impose our will on the universe. We must do different things to different parts of reality. So different units get different treatment. Okay, we can serve some users with our system and some users with the alternative. And then finally, who gets which treatment is chosen at random? Well, that depends on your infrastructure, which is why you're thinking about building all this infrastructure up front. If you don't have the ability to serve things at ra serve your traffic uh, randomly, then it's going to be pretty hard to do live traffic experiments. So maybe you want to consider that infrastructure. But if you have all of this, congratulations, you can do a legitimate statistical experiment. You can find out what the impact is of your system on your users. You can find out if you should launch it. If your performance is worse than the alternative, abort, 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 there's no analysis you even need there. I'll tell you the result of the statistical test. It's don't launch. But if the performance is better and enough better according to the criteria you've set, then you can launch it with a clean conscience and you can say what its impact is. And there's massive back paths for you. So you've ramped up, you've launched it. Now you're serving your model to users. You're using a policy layer. You're staying cautious. 